The doctor then took Rose to Justice Alpha, the first alien planet she had ever stood on. The pair were arrested for trespassing, and Rose was incarcerated on Justice Beta while the doctor was sent to a non-human prison on Justice Prime. Rose soon uncovered that the whole prison system had been infiltrated by the Blatherine family, who intended to use the prisoners as resources for their own devious plan. Eventually Rose and the doctor were reunited on Justice Delta, and with the help of some prison inmates and a trio of Slatheen, were able to thwart the Blatherine plot. Pros. The monsters inside. Taking Rose home once again. The doctor saved the Powell estate from Zargath and his invasion force by making it rain with the sonic screwdriver. Rose realized that Zargath's militia was allergic to water. Comic. Death to the doctor. At Rose's request, the doctor took her to her mother and her father, Pete Tyler's, wedding. After this, he took her to the church where Stuart Hoskins and Sarah Clark were to be wed on 7 November 1987, not far from where Pete died. Rose crossed the path of her past self, who was unable to go to Pete as he died, and saved Pete from a hit-and-run death. Rose's actions caused damage to the timeline and the inside of the TARDIS to be thrown off into the time vortex. Enraged by her actions, the doctor suspected that she had only agreed to travel with him to save Pete and considered abandoning her in the past, though Rose insisted she hadn't planned it but saw an opportunity to save Pete. The doctor was so angry that he demanded the TARDIS key from her and walked away, threatening to abandon her. Rose, not revealing her true identity to her father, was invited over to his flat, and realized he wasn't the successful inventor she thought he was, but could have been given time. Pretending to be a wedding guest, she then accompanied him to Stuart and Sarah's wedding and was further disappointed to see Pete and Jackie's own marriage had become rocky. The doctor, telling Rose and the wedding guests to rush inside the church, tried devising a way of stopping the creatures from outside time that were attacking the earth to seal off the paradox Rose had created. The doctor and Rose eventually reconciled, the doctor admitting he wouldn't have really left. He started working on a way to repair the damage to the universe while leaving Pete alive for Rose. The doctor used his TARDIS key, which was still linked to the TARDIS interior, to bring the TARDIS back. However, after Pete accidentally made Rose hold her infant self, the doctor sacrificed himself to the creature brought inside the church by the paradox and the creature was zapped by the key, interrupting the TARDIS return. Pete, who realized that his survival of the hidden run was what caused the creature's attack in the first place, said his goodbyes to his wife and daughter and ran in front of the car, which was stuck in a time loop, awaiting him. The doctor and everyone else was brought back, and thanks to these events, the new timeline had Rose be there for her father when he died. TV. Father's Day. To cheer Rose up, the doctor took her to a Parisian cafe in 1923 playing with the salt and pepper shakers. Unbeknownst to either, they were observed by the 10th, 11th and 12th doctors along with their companions, from afar. Comic. Four doctors. The doctor took Rose to meet Althea Bryce. Audio. Her own bootstraps. The TARDIS was forced down to London because of the presence of two shadies from another dimension, whom had brought Robert Green, a rival playwright of William Shakespeare's, 400 years into the future. After realizing that Shakespeare was remembered in the future while Green was not, Green used the powers granted to him by the Shadies, powered by his negative energy, to spread rot across London. When the Shadies discovered the Doctor's presence, they decided to toy with the Doctor by meddling with time and have Green kill Shakespeare in 1592. Going back in time to protect the famous playwright and actor, Rose tried distracting Shakespeare away from his performance on stage while the doctor took his place. But Green discovered them, and Rose and Shakespeare ran back to the doctor's performance in Richard III to warn him they were right behind them. In return for relinquishing the power of the Shadies and saving the world, the doctor and Rose promised to remember Green. And Green banished the Shadies, returning to his deathbed where he was dying of plague. The doctor lamented that the fate of being forgotten seemed to be unavoidable for anybody. But Rose gave him the reassurance no one would ever forget him. Comic. A groat's worth of wit. One night, the doctor told Rose the story of Godfather Death. She thought death, 
when talking about how deaths were fixed, sounded like him. Prose, the night, the fool and the dead. The TARDIS arrived in the dark times in the midst of the eternal war, and the Doctor and Rose were captured by Gallifreyan forces led by Rassilon. They escaped during an attack of Cucurbites, but Rose was snatched by a vampire. She was taken to a coffin ship, where Friar Gristock, an acolyte of the Three Mad Sisters, was intrigued by her, as humans did not exist this early in the universe. She was ordered to get changed and refused, however relented when Sentia, a slave sent to help her, said she'd be punished if Rose didn't comply. Rose was taken to the sisters, who attacked her and turned her into a vampire, exhausting themselves in the process. The doctor tracked her down and was taken to her. Under vampiric influence, she attacked him, but a Gallifreyan attack on the coffin ship distracted her, enabling the doctor to send her to sleep. He used synth blood to treat her infection, knowing she would need some time to rest. She awoke some time later on a moon, being cared for by Sentia. The doctor was present when she awoke and they embraced. He explained how he had freed the vampire slaves and together they returned to the TARDIS and left the dark times. Comic. Monstrous beauty. The doctor and Rose visited Jackie, who had become a very successful saleswoman on the Powell estate selling glubby gloves. Objects which helped people sleep for a full eight or nine hours. However, it turned out that the glubby gloves were taking energy from their users and passing it on to the seller. With Jackie's help, the doctor stopped the corporation responsible and ended the glubby glove fad. Audio. Retail therapy.